Actually, I do know. Hey, look, I was looking through. You know, uh, I guess Yvette will come on tonight, whatever it is. Um, <coughs> so the last broadcast she did on, uh, was it Monday night to Tuesday morning? I commented on it. Um, but uh, I was looking, let me look at, look at my notes here. Sometimes I do take notes. I mean, it does seem like I do, but I do take notes sometimes. See, Blazer Station. Oh, there's a... Um, you know something? I'm a, I don't know, I do, I guess. I'm, I'm a unofficial, officially unofficially. I'm, I'm like a senior advisor to a radio station that's starting down here in the Eastern Cape. Um, uh, Cassie to Cassie, uh, like location to location. Anyways, the radio station. So I guess I got an idea for them where I'm going to have them, like, because everybody's in digital, right? So people, when they have their little things, this is a radio station, right? Maybe they'll, bro they'll broadcast on the internet to at some, some particular point. We we'll have them when they make they, they have their little reports themselves, and they have their listeners to bring in little reports, and they'll feature them on the thing. Maybe they'll get prizes like you know some free airtime or something like that. You know, airtime meaning like uh, for your for your for your phones, you know. Down here it's called airtime. Not airtime as far as free t airtime on a radio station. I yeah, remember, I forget it. Anyway, yeah, well, so I'll, Camille Packner talked about her state capture. John Birch Society. Oof. Uh, zines or the whole journalism thing I did the last thing. Oh, oh, here's what I was thinking. Maybe this is why I have the wine. And you know, that had this book she was looking at or whatever, and and it was going through. The, uh, uh, somebody wrote a book about I think it was a Clinton, or something like that. Anyway, you know, people like uh, anyway she pointed out like what they said about oh no said about Barack Obama. Sorry, Clinton, Clinton Obama. What's the tip? Clinton Obama, Bush. I don't want to say Trump because you'll get all upset, but what's the difference? Anyway, anyway, in the book, uh, Tom Jones was singing Obama's praises and how I you know when he went to. I remember when he came to came to Africa with, with Barack Obama, and then he was Africa was uh, what's it? I can forget who was coming where. Anyway, the point is, um, it's like I get too confused, Clinton or Obama. I don't remember which one is which now. Anyway, it's in, I'll, I'll, maybe I'll repost the thing. And so I was thinking, uh, because he said something that, that I guess if he read it these days, he'd be so sorely, whatever. Also, there was another actor, Tim, somebody, I don't know which one, which Tim this was. Uh, I think it was Tim. Uh, and, and I was also thinking uh, that uh, I, I said the story one time, but I was, uh, before we came here, it was in Paro Valley, house sitting. This is really big, had a lot of books in this house. And one of the things I did was I did um, an audio book of uh, Barack Obama's uh, Audacity, of, of Audacity of Hope. Oh my gosh. I dare you to read it these days. I dare you, dare you, dare you. You will, you will stop reading that book. You're just like all these people have regrets about what they've done. Well, I was thinking that like Oprah. No, I'm jumping from Tom Joyner and whatever to Oprah. But I'll tell you Oprah story one time. Not Oprah story, but Barack Obama story. When I was in uh, Zambia, anyway, uh, uh, and, I was, and Oprah had this uh, gathering one time. All these uh, gospel singers, and, and you know, it's, it's a really great, great clip. You know, they had Mitt Romney in there, looking all confused. You know, Kyle and um, Kennedy looking all confused. What, what's going on here? Because the, the whole gospel field. But here's what I was thinking. Now. When I went to Livingston College, when I graduated Livingston College, one of the instructors, one of the teachers there was Toni Morrison. She was in the English, well, I was in the English department, but I never took a class with Toni Morrison. Even though it's kind of strange because back when I was at Bronx Community College, the one of the first books we ever read, or was English literature there too, was uh, The Bluest Eye by Toni Morrison. Go figure, it all comes full circle. Anyway, but you know, Toni Morrison, she may be famous for willing, uh, uh, winning the Nobel Prize for literature and all the rest of that stuff, but in the black community, she's always going to be famous, uh, 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 asterisk there. She was the one that, that anointed Bill Clinton as the first black president. So we had a phony first black president, then we had a phony Barack Obama as black president. It's terrible. Anyway, so she be Toni Morrison. I've checked Toni Morrison's hand, too. Actually, just, anyway. She needs to, I think at this, with ADOS movement especially, 
people like Tom Jordan and Tony Morris, all that, they, they need to make some sort of recompense to, you know, okay? For leading black people down the primrose path, along with the CBC and a bunch of things. One of these Tony Morris and dudes just come out and said, you know, I've lived a long life, blah, blah, got all kinds of awards, but to me, the most important thing right now that's happening is the movement as spurred on by ADOS, who is now the tip of the spear of this movement, is uh, reparations. Now, now, right now, it's a political thing. We have to deal with reparations. And I want to say, just as the person that, that, that one of the people that contributed to, one of the people that contributed to this, this problem with, with, with uh, identity politics, because this is a political movement, that uh, that whole thing I said about Bill Clinton, you know, you know, he was terrible for black and say how he's terrible for black. But and, and Tony Marcy can say that, you know. In fact, she can get together. In fact, she, oh, yeah. mm. more marching orders. Maybe it's the one. Here's what she do. She's in literature. She did to, you know, Tony Morrison, uh, uh, Nikki Giovanni. I should Nikki Giovanni sense because she went. Nah, 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 nah. Um, all those great figures, they need to get together and say, look, we have a, a, a reparations um, a book, whatever, book tour. We're creating the reparations manual or something like that. And we, we're looking at, we're going to, the new edited book, this is going to be done on the fly, some sort of black press. I don't know how you're going to do it. You remember how um, Walter Mosley, when he put out Gone Fishing, he went to a black a black press to do it. Or he, went, he wasn't with his regular, you know, big time, whatever company it was. Anyway, the point is, and come out with a, rep a, 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 a ongoing reparation, something I don't know, re re read on YouTube or something like that. But also, same thing for what well, I'm thinking about this. Same thing for Oprah. She had that little garden. She has garden parties. We're in the political season. They have parties to, 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 to fundraise or whatever have you. But there should be a, a, a thing where the, all the um, before they have one with the, with a big candidate, they can have a little garden party with just ADOS people or whatever happened and plot out a plan that what they're going to ask this, what they're going to talk about when this candidate comes and visits and try to get money from these folks. Something, a little, little, this this is what black, the, okay, here we go, black privilege should be doing right now, you know. They should be having a little, a little thing to understand ADOS. They should be studying uh, what, what Yvette Cornell and, and Antonio Moore and, and Professor Doherty have been saying. You know, th this all needs to be done. You know, I, I, wow, that's a good idea. Think about it. As they're having a fundraising party, or going to have a fundraising party in Hollywood, whoever for somebody, they should have a little gathering with just ADOS kind of thinking people to 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 ask for an agenda and whatever, 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 whatever. This should be going on anyway. Wow, I should think about this. So should we, we, all of us. We, including me, T. Funder Patterson, taking a train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect about the American descendants of chattel slavery. That would be us, you know. And I'm reporting from here, from a, a desk. This is a desk of the ADOS. That's right. I said it before. The American descendants of chattel slavery desk.